Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very quick, easy, inexpensive, pretty fun thing that you can add to an Easter basket or just give as a standalone Easter surprise for something. So today we're going to create a sticker in Cricut Design Space and we're going to use our sticker paper to just create a fun little treat uh, container for Easter and so we're just going to leap right in. So to start off with, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this jar. And I think this is really cute. And I got this at the Dollar Tree and it just has that, that fun flip open little container. Uh, I mean, little clip like that. And so actually I'm gonna do this side. So I wanna spray it down with some rubbing alcohol to get uh, any oils off of it that from my hands, any dirt, any uh, grime of any kind, and um, also just get it nice and clean and shined up so it looks good when we uh, have it ready to give away. And then that's going to be drying while we do the rest of this. So I use this Avery Sticker Project paper, and I love it. It goes through my printer really easily. Make sure uh, before you send it to print that you position this paper correctly in your printer. Some printers it goes in like this, so you would need to turn it over. It just depends. So find out how the paper should go into your particular printer. And then I just found this super cute image in Cricut Design Space. Just, I typed in Easter Bunny and found it. And then I um, brought it into my canvas and flattened it. There's a button on the bottom that says flatten. And what, you, what it does is it takes that image and makes it so it's printable as a sticker. And then you uh, just put it through your printer and it will print with these guidelines. And then when you, after you've printed it onto the sticker paper, when you feed it into your uh, Cricut cutter, then it will cut around that and it'll use that guideline, uh, those guidelines to help you know where, to help the machine know where to cut it. So we're just gonna leap right in with that. I see I might have a little more to clean there. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and you could do a whole page of stickers and I probably should have done that so we had more available for last minute Easter things and Easter basket things, but I just did one. And then you can see it just peels up just like a regular sticker and we're going to put that right on top and I'm going to center that, get that just right. There we go. I'm just gonna push it down, super cute. Now I could have also done this in various layers of vinyl, but that was a lot of work and I just felt like it would come out cuter this way. So I just really like that little happy bunny. And then we're going to go ahead and weed the words that are going to go on the, on the front of this little container. And this is just such an easy, way to uh, get things. <laughs> Man, I'm having a hard time getting that up. You know, sometimes I go through this, or there we go, to get it started. And so I just, in, in that same Cricut Design Space, just on the same canvas, same file that I flattened that sticker and had that ready to print, I just did some, some uh, text to go on the front of this. And um, I'm using this bright pink metallic vinyl, and I just think it's I just think it's cute and it's pretty. And um, I'm actually trying to use much of what I already own, uh, so that I'm not having to do a lot of shopping for for new vinyl and new things. Uh, I'm trying to use what's in my stash and. My stash isn't huge because I haven't been uh, doing this kind of crafting for a long time. Um, so uh, I don't have a huge stash, but you know, things accumulate faster than you think. And all of a sudden you go, wow, 
Uh, I have more than I thought, and I'm going to try to get that used up uh, before I go out and buy much more of, of things. So that's just the little uh, text that I thought would be really cute on there that says Bunny Bites. Oh, I didn't get that last little bit. There we go. So now I have been over several um, videos. I have been testing lots of different types of transfer tape. And I have found my favorite. And it is the blue one that I got from Amazon several months ago. I just really like it and I can reuse it over and over and over. And so that's nice and a good way to save money with your crafting so that things don't get too expensive. And it just stays fun and easy and, and you know, not this, oh no, I've got to get something else. So I just really like that. And it comes in a big roll. So, okay. And you can see that in many of my other videos, uh, that that very same um, transfer tape that I like to use, okay? And this is just so fun, it transfers so easily. Ooh, oh dear, there we go. Ooh, I was thinking I had just really messed that up. I'm gonna rest this on this. I really like this scraper. I think I got that from Expressions Vinyl, but it's got these two lines and you can just put a round thing right in there and it'll hold it in place. There we go. Oh, I want to make sure I kind of line it up with the bunny on top that I'm putting it on the right side. Okay. There we go. And this is this is rounded, but it's not rounded this way, so it should lay pretty flat. Did I get that on straight? Sometimes when I'm sitting at an angle like this, it's hard to tell, but I think so. Okay, if it looks weird to you, <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, I just love that. I think that's super cute. Just says bunny bites. And then I uh, I found this kind of fun little candy at a little shop uh, near where we live that just had such pretty spring pastels, fun colors for Easter. And it's a little bit unusual. But of course you can use M&Ms or anything like that. And then we'll just close that up. And that would just be so easy to take just alone as a, as a treat or to just put that in with your, in your Easter basket with all of your other things and just have a nice little surprise for Easter. So very quick, last minute, very inexpensive, very easy. That literally took me, what, maybe five minutes to get that completed. And so there's just a fun last minute idea. So be sure to subscribe and uh, watch for more. I'll, I'll keep uh, doing videos uh, daily if I can for a time and just give you some fun ideas. We also have coming up uh, some more organization tips. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you uh, some of my favorite final tips from my big uh, pantry redo makeover, makeover and organization. For now, bye.